Hey guys, today I have a couple of fun DIY projects to share with you that are going to focus on repurposing items that you might already have around the house. So I was recently going through some of my things and I came across a few items that I was like, huh, should I get rid of these? They're, they're looking rather bland. I'm not sure if I'm into them anymore. And then I realized, wait a second, why not repurpose them? Why not reuse them and turn them into something that you do like, that you are into, especially for summertime. When summertime comes around, I definitely like some pops of color happening in my room. So I've got a few ideas to share with you. Actually, I have like a handful of ideas but we're gonna split it up into two videos so I've got some projects to share with you today and then next week I'll have a few more in the second video yes we're gonna do two of these okay so I hope you guys enjoy I hope you like the ideas and there is more to come so let's go ahead and get started this project you'll need an old vase or a bottle jar anything like that you can find them super cheap at thrift stores if you don't have one I'm gonna be covering it with this hemp or you could also use jute if you want and you'll also need a hot glue gun I'm gonna be using my high temperature hot glue gun from Walmart so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little rubbing alcohol and apply it to a cotton pad and clean the vase this is just to make sure the glue will stick properly and then I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and just apply it to a spot along the bottom of the vase and then I'm going to take the end of my hemp and press it onto the glue. Now be careful not to burn your fingers in the hot glue. It can burn you, so just be careful with this part. And I'm just going to apply the glue all around the bottom of the vase. And I'm just pressing the hemp right afterwards. And then I'm just going to continue up and around. And we're just going to keep on wrapping the hemp all the way up the vase to the very top. And after you've done the first few wraps on the vase and once you're going, you can actually just use a few dots of glue and then wrap your twine, your jute, or your hemp around a couple of times before you need to use more glue. So you can actually use less glue as you go. And so I'm just going to go ahead and continue wrapping until I get to the very end or the very top of the vase. So now we're just finishing up here. I just applied the last little bit of glue. Well, we will have one more dot to do, but I'm just going to press the hemp down, snip it, and add the final dot there where you just want to smooth that little end down so it's not fraying or sticking out, just so it blends in. And now that we're all done, it's time to add a little water to the vase and fresh cut flowers. I just cut these roses from my garden and I love the contrast of the natural textured vase with the pretty hot pink flowers. I just think it's so fun and it's so summery and I just love this vase so much more. It was a little generic looking before, a little plain, but now with the hemp on it, I'm really into it and it just reminds me of the beach. I decided to show you this project too since I was already going to be doing it. I want to show you how it turned out. This is just a glass candle holder that I found at the thrift store. It was like a dollar, so super cheap, but I wanted to wrap this up in hemp just halfway. So again, I'm starting along the bottom and placing the most glue when I first start on those first few wraps until it gets going. And then once it's going, I just add a few dots here and there as I'm wrapping the hemp. And so again, I'm just going to take this halfway up and we're going to see how it looks. And here's how my dollar thrift store candle holder turned out. I really like taking the hemp up only halfway and then having that bronze glass peeking through. I think it really adds to the beachy feel that it gives. And again, I love that natural texture, natural kind of earthy texture that it adds to the decor. For this project, we're going to be painting a couple of crates. I've had these old gray crates sitting around for too long now, and I just wanted to spice them up a bit because they were looking a bit bland. So I'm going to be painting them all white first. This is just basically a base coat, kind of just like a primer, and then we're going to put on these fun colors. So after the white paint had a chance to dry, I'm going to be using these, which are samples. You can get these for 2 or $3 at Lowe's or Home Depot, and it just makes for an easy way to play with some fun colors in your projects. So the first color I'm painting on here is Sweet Melon from Valspar, and I'm just going to paint a stripe all across the bottom and the very bottom of the crate as well. The next color I'm using is Coral Reef, also from Valspar. I should mention all of the paints I'm using are from Valspar, and I got them at Lowe's. And now I'm just going to paint that on just in the middle, so this is going to serve as basically just my middle stripe. Don't worry about being perfect. And my third color is Sassy Peach. And this is a fun, kind of bright, peachy color, so I'm going to paint this as my final stripe at the very top. 
And then I'm going to repeat these steps on the inside also. So same stripes in the same places on the inside of the crate. And then I'm going to take a bowl with a little bit of water in it, just a dash, and then add two of my colors. So I'm adding Sweet Melon, which is the darkest, and then my medium color, which is Coral Reef. And I'm going to blend those together in the water. And it's right now that we're taking it from basic stripes to an actual ombre effect that we're creating. So I'm taking two scraps of a t-shirt, so basically just a couple of rags, and I'm dipping one, one is my paint rag, I dip that into the bowl of paint that we watered down, and I'm brushing it in between the two colors, the two colors that we actually mixed into the watered down bowl. And then I'm taking a cleaner rag, and I'm just kind of cleaning up and using that as my blending rag. And then I'm repeating on the inside, along the same area and now we're on to the second set of paint so now I'm taking my lighter paint and again my medium paint and mixing those together in a bowl with a dash of water stirring that up and now I have a clean set of rags so that's going to be my little paint rag there and the bigger one is my blending out rag so I'm just dipping into the paint and now we're working on the top section brushing in between those two paints the two lighter ones so we've got the sassy peach on top and the coral reef which is what we have in our bowl watered down with water and then i'm taking my clean rag and i'm just kind of cleaning up and helping to blend out those edges so it really creates a smooth seamless effect and then i'm repeating on the inside and here's how it turned out. I love the effect. I love ombre anything really, but especially for summer, colors like this that are kind of like sunset or sunrise, it just makes you feel good to see that in your room. It's such a bright pop of color and you can use it to store things in also. So you can use it as kind of a shadow box to store items in or display things in, or you can use it just as a regular bin and store beach towels or sarongs. And it's just overall a nice touch to your decor for summer. that second crate that I had. I'm going to start with my darkest color which is Rainforest Mist from Valspar. I'm going to paint on that stripe first and then the second color is Sea Treasure. I'm going to paint that on in the middle and then my final color is Beach Blanket and that one's going to go on top. So again we painted the stripes on first and then we're mixing our two paints together. I'm doing the darkest paint and the medium color paint and then I'm adding just a dash of water and I'm just going to stir that up I'm going to mix up my second set of paints right now too. So I'm mixing my two lighter ones, or my lighter one and my medium one, and then adding that dash of water to water the paints down. And then stir that up. And we are ready to go. I'm keeping my paints, my paint bowls inside my crate because it is really windy and I don't want paint flying all over my carport. And again, I'm just going to take a little bit of paint onto one of my rags and start painting that on. So I'm just basically blending the two colors together. So the reason that I add the water to the paint mixture is just so the paint will be less opaque and more transparent. And that's what helps create the ombre effect and gives it a more kind of more fluid gradients. So again, I start with my first rag, which is the one I dip into the paint, and then I switch to my cleaner rag, which is my blending out rag that helps smooth those edges. And here's how our minty aqua ombre turned out. I think the colors are awesome. They're so fresh and pretty and beachy. And you can see how you can add some of your favorite items in here. You can have some of your jewelry displays in there, maybe some makeup products, whatever it may be. It just creates a nice touch to decorate with and store items in. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.